Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your lead scenting consultant. So today I have for you my harvest haul. It is the 20th of the month, and I breathed a huge sigh of relief when FedEx dropped off my nice size package here on the porch this morning. So let's just dive right on in. And at the end of this video, I will do the cold sniffs for the holiday five bar collection that I have been waiting so anxiously to sniff. I've been hearing so many good things about it. So let us just enjoy all the goodness that is packed into this big old box. Let's get started with, I think, some car bars. So in the fall, I definitely like my wonderful vehicle to smell very festive and I got a good number here of car bars. You can do the car bars as a bundle and save. It's just like regular bars. So I believe that it's $30 to get six of these. So I got one of Farm Stand Pumpkin. I got one of Autumn Hearth, which is excellent. I got one of good old pumpkin cinnamon swirl because I even like my car to smell like a cinnamon roll sometimes. Two of cider mill because that is a classic. It is one of my all time favorite scents from Scentsy for Fall and for my husband because he loves squeeze the day but he also likes masculine scents. I got a mystery man to put into his van so that it smells a little bit more pleasant and a little bit less like carpet cleaning. Anyway. So then I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to smell the new laundry line, which is in white amber antique, which is one of my and Greg's favorite scents of all time. So I did the laundry bundle, the laundry love bundle, and this is a party closeout order. So I was able to take the laundry love bundle, which already gives you a discount, and then using, I believe, a half off credit in my party hostess rewards, I was able to get it down to a very reasonable price. So I got a couple of different styles of our or uh, what are these things called dryer discs so the new scent is going to be the white amber and tea and that I also got in the laundry liquid so this is a really nice packaging very I don't know sort of masculine but very chill and got that in the washer whisks which I am going to open now I'm curious to see the difference between the bar which is pretty strong and the whiffs which I'm thinking might be a little more chill might be a little more mellow now I've been getting teased a little bit in the community of other consultants because most of them didn't want this in laundry and I'm excited about it so I hope that it's strong enough I don't know but when we open this we will find out Oh, this is beautiful. Now it does smell rather different than in the wax. I think this might just be a medium. It's warmer than the wax. In some funny way, it reminds me of the scent of walking into a furniture store. That's strange. I wonder if that's because there's a lot of woodiness here. Anyway, I do like this and I will report back to you guys on what I think of the washer whiffs in White Amber Antique. It is far more relaxed than it is in the bar and a lot sweeter, so interesting. It's always the case when it comes to laundry that it can really, really change. Like with fluffy fleece, I don't like that bar and I love it in laundry. So I'm hoping that this will perform up to snuff for me. So what do we want to do next? We want to do all the wax. I think I will do the rest of my cleaning type supplies. So I really enjoy the dish soap. If you watch my channel, you know I was totally brokenhearted when they retired it pretty much for good, but they did bring it back in auto road trip as a matchy matchy, which is my favorite in counter clean and dish soap in autumn road trip. Now, I have had this before and I prefer cider mill, which thankfully I have a little stockpile of. I've got three sets of this type of uh, thing in cider mill that are just sitting in the closet. So I'm gonna use this now and then when that's over with, I'm gonna break out the cider mill and see which one at this point I prefer. I think my all time favorite forever and forever will be cider mill in cleaning, but like I said, that was a flash sale purchase and I have not seen that in quite a while. And then the new counter clean for the season is Scarlet Sunflower, which I think is going to be lovely. And they're going to offer the Snow Kissed Cranberry in counter clean with the holiday brochure, which I am waiting for that shipment to come. I do have a few other odds and ends that I'll be showing you hopefully before October the 1st, and I'll be able to pull the holiday brochures out of that and we'll do a walkthrough on that. But anyway, those are new and available cleaning products. And if you really miss, miss that dish soap and if you miss being able to match, make sure you go on the website i'm pretty sure it's still available and get your autumn road trip in the counter clean and the dish soap so after that 
I normally do not do fragrance flowers, but the new ones that were in our harvest bundle, it's just too good. So I got it in Fall Into Love and it is a beautiful sunflower, you guys. So they now come packaged separately so that it's easier to be able to mix and match the tops and bottoms, which I think is a really good idea, honestly. So I'm not going to actually put this in here right now, but I will probably do a post for Instagram of putting this out and then seeing how it color changes because each of these will go from the white that you're going to see when you take it out of the package to a deeper color. The cashmere leaves, I think, is going to turn a dark kind of a earthy brown red, and then there's one that's more of an orange, and there's one that's more of a yellow, and I believe this is the one that's going to turn pretty much yellow. So it's a cute little sunflower type reed diffusing flower that goes into the oil. So I'm very excited about this. This ought to be really, really nice. And I believe the Fall Into Love is the very fresh scent that I thought would be best as far as lingering in the house. I didn't know if I really wanted to smell the pumpkin pie type one, which is going to be forever fall. And I really wasn't sure yet about cashmere leaves. Now I really love it. And I almost wish I'd gotten that fragrance flower. So they may restock those and I might pick up another one because you know, I love sunflowers. So now these go with what will sniff dead last, which is going to be the holiday collection. And I have two warmers. I didn't tell you guys what I ordered, but I'm sure that you can guess that I wanted to pick up the Harvest Bounty. So we'll do that one. And then this is kind of out of character for me, you guys. I have the Retro Truck. The reason that I picked this up is because all the trucks are cute. But we've had a black one, we've had a red one, and we've had a blue one. Correct me if there are any more that I don't know of. But white goes much better with all of my things and, you know, any pile of pumpkins, as you can see. I just have a hard time saying no to. So I thought we would pick these up and have a good time with them. Because I already have the other beautiful mercury glass pumpkin that is in our current harvest collection. I don't really decorate for Halloween at all. So it kind of left me with these two, and I'm not sad about it because I like them both very much. So let's start with the Harvest Bounty. Now with an element warmer, you're not going to have any glow, although with our retro truck, I do believe it has headlights and taillights that light up. Oh, this is pretty. But the Harvest Bounty caught my eye for the very first time on a sneak peek on Facebook from the Australia, New Zealand, I think it was Gold Coast Sensi Family Reunion. And I saw this out on the display table and I think I sent my director a text. I'm like, what is that beautiful, beautiful warmer that looks like a sweater? So I'm gonna turn this off. That's much better. It looks like a sweater. Now up close, it's got a little bit of brown and tan in here with the ivory. So it has good texture because this will wash that out. And it's got a relatively shallow dish. And I'm not gonna bother to plug this in because you know, all that's gonna happen is that this little guy back here is going to glow. This one I believe is a nine watt element warmer. So I'm not gonna promise you that this is going to be world's best performer, but it's adorable and you can see for me, this is going to be an absolutely perfect piece that goes with my decor. If you guys have seen my mantle this year, I think I'm going to go put it on my little side table right over there and it's going to be perfect with this room for the rest of fall. And I think this one, called the Harvest Bounty of all things, will be very good all the way up to Thanksgiving because this will go very well with a lot of big chunky knit blankets and acorns and big leaves and probably even some pine will be very pretty with this guy because he's not too early in the season. He's not too bright like that because that will go away, I promise, by the end of October. So. This Harvest Bounty, I thought, would be really, really cute for styling, and I love the creamy color and the gorgeous almost sweater or knit texture. I guess you could also think of it as a basket weave. And this doesn't want to... I wish... Oh, there's the notch. I was going to say, there should be a notch on these. There's the notch so that you can truly match it up. So this is totally a winner for me, and I'm sure it'll be worth every penny because I'm such a decor person. So if it's the only warmer you're ever going to own, it may not be the greatest on performance. I'll definitely let you guys know in a week or so what I think, but it's just too cute. So next we're gonna get out my truck. And I am not sure if we're gonna be able to get the pine trees to go in this at Christmas time, but if we can, I really, really wanted to have this. But even if I can only do pumpkins, it's still good enough for me. Because at some point they'll offer those trees again. They always do that kind of thing over again. 
Okay, so we have our separately packaged cute little pumpkins, which I know you could have gotten just to go with any of the other trucks that were already offered. And it has lots of little perforations in there so the scent can get out, kinda sorta. You know, these decorative lids aren't real great for being uh, efficient with throw, but they're so cute. And then we have my cute little white pickup truck. Oh, this is adorable, you guys. Look, looky, looky. And if I had a little boy, which I don't, but maybe someday I'll have a grandson, I'm sure this will be a favorite. My girls are still teenagers. I'm not rushing it, but I'm sure that they will think this is really cool. The grandma has a little truck that lights up that you can stick things in the back of. So you can put this on here. Hmm. Which way does it go? That way, right? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna, oh, there we go. There has to be a right way. So this is beautiful. I am gonna plug it in to see how the tail lights and the headlights work. And this, again, goes beautifully with my decor. So it would really be cute even up there. So let's see how this one lights up. And its dish is also, you know, not awesome. It's it's there. It'll pull, it'll pull out well though. This one will be good as far as uh, width and depth to be able to throw scent. And I don't know how many watts this one is. Let's see if I can find that on something. Oh, eight watts. This one's eight watts, and I believe that the Harvest Bounty is nine. So let's turn this little guy on. Oh, that's funny. So he's got some spooky little headlights. <laughs> and let's put this back in. Maybe. It's like a jigsaw puzzle for grown-ups. So here we go. I will turn this off. Yeah, I mean, it's just basically a soft glow, a little bit on the spooky side. And, and look at that. They used two of the little red things that we use to show whether our element warmer is on or not for tail lights. So that's really cute. So there really isn't going to be much going on with this as far as giving light. But oh, is it adorable. So I have wanted a truck for a long time. And so this is going to be my particular retro truck from Sensi. So cute. All right, so now let's get into this huge, huge thing of wax. Oh boy, all of this is full of wax. So I got two sets of the holiday five bar bundle. So I will sort those out and we'll just go through the rest of them as we go. So Palo Santo and Cinnamon. This is a bar that I felt really hard for when I got my samples in the mail, my 10 bar bundle where we could make samples for you guys and we could share things on channels and just be able to tell everybody how good or bad the new scents were. And I wanted more of this immediately. And so of course I was up at 3.30 on September the 1st ordering all of my bars and it's taken all the way till today for me to receive this because I think Sensi had no idea the avalanche that they were going to get. And I'm really not sure what the deal is. If you still have not received your order and you placed it on the first or the second and you are my customer, please contact me and I will check on that for you. But, oh, Palo Santo and Cinnamon is so good. This is a medium level performer from my first bar that I melted. And it's going to fill your home nicely, but not overwhelm the space. And it is very tailored and sophisticated. So it's just a little bit on the smoldery side. It's got the cinnamon, it's got the Palo, and it has some bergamot, but it isn't super overwhelming. And it's not weak either, it's just right. So I've got two of those. And then I did get one more of Forever Fall. This is a bar where one bar that I had from my early release was very good and the other was a little weird. And this one smells like it's supposed to. So if you have gotten a bar of Forever Fall, which is going to be the brown sugar baked pumpkin scent from our Harvest Five Bar Bundle, and it's a little squashy, possibly order another one if you liked it at all because these are coming out later, I think later batches properly where you get this wonderful balance with the brown sugar and it's actually really good. So I'm glad I have that. And I do have another one coming because I did get the whiff box this month. It's going to come with my September club order because I threw it in for half price. And that is one heck of a deal, you guys. If you have not seen spoilers, I'm not gonna get into all the rest of what's in there. But at this point, it's almost the end of the month. So you probably have seen it. It's a very nice, with box, especially for half price. Next is Golden Garland, which I'm so excited to have more of. I've got a few cubes left from my original 10 bar bundle. Oh, this is nice, you guys. This is like a little bit more November version of Autumn Road Trip. And it's got pine needle, it has a nice marigold note, it's got lots of layers of really good mid-autumn funk. 
and it's just gorgeous just beautiful and warm and woodsy and when the temperature drops drops it's got to be in the 40s and a little bit crispy with maybe some frost on the ground i'll be melting that first day of fall now this is more for my younger daughter Oh, it's a nice bar, but I always tell you guys, I think of sweet potato casserole when I smell this, which is not fair, but it's just what I get. It's the nutmeg in here with all the golden woodsiness. It's just a little bit different. It's good. So many people love this bar, and I know traditionally we all melted on the first day of fall, so I will try to remember to do that this year. All right, next here we have, oh, this is Cherry's Jubilee. I got to put this aside. That's going to be from the Holiday 5 Bar Bundle, which like I said, we'll do that cold sniff end of the video and then I will try to put my warm reviews either get that all organized and put out a dedicated video on that or my next what I have been warming I will have all five of them in there for you so vanilla barnwood ooh, this is going to be bad in the ring light vanilla barnwood is a part of that set and okay make me snickerdoodle I am going to try to give this thing another chance to impress me more I didn't mind the bar that I got in my 10 bar bundle this is nice though. This, most of the time you just need bars to have a few months or at least a few extra weeks to make a decision on whether they're going to be strong enough. This one already smells better than the one that I got in my 10 bar kit. And that is just because Sensi seems to pour bars that they're going to release pretty close to their release date. I'm not sure why, because if you give something a few months, all the notes sort themselves out and they seem to be much better. And in this case, even another month seems to have helped a lot with that. So I think that that Make Me Snickerdoodle, which is basically just a cinnamon sugar cookie dough kind of a scent, is better this time around. Okay, Rum Pum Plum. I'm so excited about this. That goes in the holiday pile. Next one is going to be Snowberry. Now, this is an old scent, and I'm very glad that it's back. This is Strawberry, Loganberry, Cinnamon, and Peppermint. Oh, oh and on the bottom, there's a little bit of like a tree note. Boy, I have not had a fresh bar of this in many years. I think the half a bar I've got left is probably four or five years old. Oh, this is good. I'm so glad that they brought this classic back after having it out of the catalog last year. I'm going to be melting that. And I want to melt it sooner rather than later to see if I want more because I kind of ignored that when it was around back in the day. And I regretted not having more. It's a very classic and unique Scentsy scent that is good for Christmas time. They actually make that in a car bar and I may pick some up. Dashing. Now here's another one where I've still got a half a clam of the first 10 bar bundle. This is beautiful, and just like the Make Me Snickerdoodle, this one smells a little stronger than my other bar because it's had some time. So this is going to go in my bedroom. This is the darling of all of the new releases, and this one is sort of a creamy mahogany and vanilla balance, and I think it's going to be very nice. Mm, very, very nice as it, it develops in its notes. Okay, salted caramel toffee. Now this one, I have a cute story for you guys. Okay, so this one is the current caramel toffee raining scent that's in the catalog now this has nothing to do with this particular haul i like this bar i'm very happy to have it but my very favorite caramel toffee scent of all time was toffee butter crunch and i had packed my bi-monthly club with bakery over the last couple of years and this summer i had a budget crunch and i was trying to decide what do i or not what do i or don't i cut and i really regret cutting toffee butter crunch but i knew this was going to come back in the catalog i had seen at that point that we had this coming back and it's similar enough and my mother-in-law came through for me on my birthday she has a small club with me as a customer she still had toffee butter crunch in there and so i kind of pulled the sweet darling daughter-in-law and so i asked my kids to go over and say grandma can mommy have a bar of toffee butter crunch for her birthday and not only did she give me one bar of toffee butter crunch she told my kids and she's just the best like you hear me talk about my mother-in-law in here and she is a wonderful woman who's always had a huge heart toward me and she's just she's just a dear anyway i didn't expect to get emotional my mother-in-law pulled out two bars of toffee butter crunch and said girls tell your mother to have a happy happy birthday so I'm having my salted caramel toffee and my toffee butter crunch too, and it's just a good day. So this one, if you don't have a mother-in-law who has uh, <clears throat> fairy godmother powers to give you toffee butter crunch when you pulled it from your club, oh, this is just a nice smooth caramel. And the only difference between this and the other one that I'm talking about is that has some walnuts and a little bit more sweetness and depth, but this is an excellent mixer. Like I mix this with Perk Me Up, which is still in my club and Sharon likes that, so we'll swap bars. 
because she doesn't have that in her club. And this one is just a good basic all the way around and a very solid scent. It's really, really nice if you want just a good, sweet, gooey scent in the house that's not too much of anything. So that's a very long story about one silly bar. Okay, next here, oh, I missed this. It's Velvet Moon. I really did run out of this. And then I thought I'd be okay because I melted the rest of the bar that I did have, I think in August, early August. And I thought, okay, I'll place my order on the first. It'll come in a week and a half, I'll be good. And so being almost three weeks later, I was really hurting for a bar of Velvet Moon. This has this amazing vanilla flower and this buttery suede quality that is so elegant. You can melt this with white amber and silk. You can melt this with cashmere and corduroy. Oh, it's so good. It, and it probably may be with fluffy fleece. I don't know if a couple of the old lady notes in that would fight this one. It's a really good medium, medium strong scent for maybe more bedrooms and bathrooms and things, but you could do it anywhere. Another Palo Santo and cinnamon. I really had a good time. I closed out a party and oh, and here's red currant wreath and I went hog wild on my bars. And I told you about red currant wreath the other day. This is a middle of the road scent. It is basic, but it's good basic. It's like that really good pair of penny loafers from back in the day. My mom always wore loafers and she'd put real pennies in them. So that just went with everything, right? Or like your favorite button down white shirt or your favorite pair of jeans. This has warmth from sandalwood. It's got red berries. It's got a hint of a tree type note, but not very much. Kind of like snowberry when I opened the bar on the back end, there was a little bit of tree. You get something kind of like this here, but it's just warm wintry goodness and it will make your home smell cuddly and cozy without trying too hard. Okay, next one is Fall Into Love. So this is my one bar. This will go with uh, fragrance flowers. So this is definitely the green eucalyptus balsam and orange scent that we had that you could get in uh, fragrance flower. Oh, this is very nice. And it is one where I don't know if I will club it. I'll probably just get a couple of extra bars. It's beautiful, middle of the road. I have a friend that uh, lives here in town who has really fallen in love with Fall Into Love and I encouraged her to get more before it's gone if she doesn't start a club because I don't think she'll consume that much. Ooh, Cherry's Jubilee. This is also part of our five bar bundle for holiday. All right, kind of getting down there. More rum pum plum because I got two sets. I'm realizing that it's just best to be able to either make samples or melt plenty to give good reviews that if I can get two sets of anything early access, except maybe the bricks, that I will absolutely do that. Another make me snickerdoodle and I want to smell this one. Yeah, yeah. I Actually, I wonder if that first bar of make me snickerdoodle that I had is a little bit better. This smells more like the first one. So, you know, sometimes you need to melt multiple bars of something if it's being a little finicky before you write it off or not because some are just better than others. Okay, what else do we have here? I have, ooh, cranberry candy cane. This goes in my stack for five bar bundle. All right, ooh, frosted cinnamon roll. This is the current scent of the month and you guys, it is wonderful. It's not as heavy as pumpkin cinnamon swirl. But it's just a really good bakery. This is one you should club because you could use this any time of the year. It's got cinnamon, it has a little bit of a caramely note and it's just a nice medium level, would mix well with most things, wouldn't make anybody uncomfortable in the house. Gorgeous gooey bakery scent, very, very nice. Uh, ooh, Cran Apple Crumble. This is one of the new ones from last year, 10 bar new release that I have really fallen in love with. It's got this wonderful, interesting grouping of notes with the cranberry, the apple, the allspice, the whipped cream, and maybe a little bit of molasses brown sugar. Oh, it's so good. And it has had time to really know what it's supposed to be. Last year when it was brand new, I didn't love it, but I do love it now. All right, what else? I've got more cranberry candy cane. One more bar of cider mill because I melt a lot of this. And this is just a classic. We already talked about it in a car bar. So this has nice apple pumpkin balance with a cideriness and a little tiny bit of spice. It's absolutely lovely. Just makes you happy. Okay, what else? We've got, ooh, sleigh ride. This, and I love tree. I seem to just like all the quintessential stuff. I love tree. I love pumpkin guts. I love really heavy, spicy fall smells. I like all the things. So a lot of people that have been reviewing the Holiday Five Bar Bundle, they don't care for tree. I am hoping I will love that because I keep hearing that it reminds me of my 
absolute at this point all-time favorite piney sprucey scent which is sweet orange pomander from last year which made me cry almost when i opened the clam i loved it so much i hope that this sleigh ride is as good as all that because that's what people have been saying is similar to so another bar of autumn road trip which i would highly encourage you to melt with golden garland and alternate warmers oh guys i keep saying cider mill is the most classic scent for fall but autumn road trip is right up there with it. And if I had to choose between the two, it would be so hard. This one's more outdoorsy. This has towering silver oak, anjou pear, and some sort of an apple. It is outdoorsy, crisp. It's got a touch of that funkiness that you think of when you're going out and you're tromping through the leaves that are kind of decaying on the ground, but not as much as Golden Garland or Fall Feelin'. This one is gorgeous, and it's similar to Autumn by Bath & Body Works if you are looking for correlating scents. Winterberry Apple Tea. I just got one more because I like this better than I used to. And this is a catalog classic. People really enjoy it. This is a really good November through January smell. So it's got some black tea, tiny bit of spice, a little bit of honey, some cranberry, and some apple. And it is really, really good and just solid, good, medium, strong throw, excellent bar. Okay, what else do I have in here? Because I think I got, here we are, fall feeling. Now, when I was setting up for today, I wanted to use my most fallish warmer, which has to be my mosaic pumpkin. And I thought, what is the most quintessential scent that they released this year? And for me, it is fall feeling. This is like you stepped into a Hallmark movie, kind of quintessential, expected, beautiful fall smell. And I know other people are saying this is too strong and this is too funky. I love it though. It's like Autumn Leaves by Yankee and it's very much like Leaves by Bath & Body Works, just not as much of the cinnamon, which for me, the Bath & Body Works version gets very strong fast. This is strong, but it's got more juniper, has a little bit of clove, it's got some blood orange, some sugared cranberry. It is so good, but it's got that saturated quality that Leaves has that just makes me get all the fall feels. I love this bar. It is my favorite thing that they've come out with this season so far. Absolutely glorious. Okay, and I got another of White Pumpkin and Driftwood. This is probably my second favorite of all the new things this fall winter so far. And that, you know, I haven't opened any of those holiday bars over there. This is so unique. It kind of reminds me of Fall Farmhouse, which is another candle from Bath & Body Works. It doesn't have the tree note of Fall Farmhouse. And the longer that you melt this, the cardamom and the earthy driftwood comes out. It is so incredibly good, you guys. Oh, such a good bar. This one went into my quarterly club because it is unique enough and strong enough. I don't think I'm going to need a lot more than that in a year. That would be three bars in a year for me because I skip one of my quarterly every year. Very nice. White Amber and Silk. I probably don't need more than this because as I was uh, reviewing my stash, I've got a couple bars, but I wanted oh, one more for my bedroom. This has become nice and strong. Last fall it was weak because it hadn't had time to cure. It was new last year. This would be fabulous in laundry. I'm actually surprised as much as I like White Amber and Teak that they didn't do this instead. Oh, this is beautiful. So it's got amber, it's got a cotton note. It has nice layers of elegance. It is so good, you guys. Between this and Velvet Moon, Velvet Moon is, I think, maybe a little more versatile. This is a little more laundry, but they're both elegant, sophisticated scents. So here's more vanilla bar and wood, which is going to go over here. And then let me see if I miss anything else down in here. Ooh, yeah, a couple more. A couple more bars hiding in the corner. And, uh, and breaking things, but you know, it just wouldn't be a neat video without that, right? Okay, so another Velvet Moon. I got another of Farm Stand Pumpkin, which I promised you guys I would go through tons of this year. This is so nice. This is a middle of the road pumpkin scent with sweet apple, little bit of caramel, just a pinch of dusting of cinnamon and nice, just rounded warm pumpkin quality, but not too much like you got a squash sitting on the porch. It's more home fragrance pumpkin and it's very good. Medium throw on that. Then here's another sleigh ride and cashmere leaves which i was trying to throw into another order and they're low on stock so it was getting a little bit fussy with me trying to set up just an emergency club that I, I need more laundry stuff because other than this my other shipments are being backlogged and I'm like i need to do a in and out kind of a club and i need more laundry just the washer whiffs i think of jammy time in a hurry so i was trying to add some more cashmere leaves 
but it told me if I wanted it to process immediately that I couldn't because this is low on stock, but this is a gorgeous bar. So instead, I just put this into my October order, more of cashmere leaves. This is very unique for Scentsy. I have smelled other things similar from other companies. Autumn Wreath from Yankee is the one that's the closest to me, and this is Sweet Apple with a really nice woodsy cashmere spice and a little bit of leaves. It is medium level loveliness. It's absolutely lovely. So that is everything that's just normal. Now, let's make our little bundle with the bag that will come if you order the set before they run out of bags. I can see that they already ran out of bags when it comes to the Harvest 5 Bar Bundle, and now they're just sending them to your regular. But how cute is this? And these, I know the Harvest little bags might be kind of hard to use, but these will make excellent re-gifting packages for just about anything that you would want to give people. So we're going to need a Rum Pum Plum, a Sleigh Ride, a Vanilla Barnwood, a Cherry's Jubilee, and a Cranberry Candy Cane. And I do not have the notes out because I just want to do initial first sniffs. We'll do real analyzing when we do uh, warm reviews, okay? So this is how it will come. So let's just randomly pick one of these and see what I think. So this is Rum Pum Plum, which I am hoping is going to be similar to the old and beloved Sweet Plum Pastry, which I do currently have in my quarterly club still. Oh, this is pretty. It is on the lighter side. I've heard people say, some people say light, some people say not. Oh, but it's nice. This is jammy. This is nice cooked fruit, jammy, bubbly plum with a light butteriness and it's very homey. Oh, this is good, you guys. So I do have a second bar of this and I'm going to see if this is any different in strength because there's this debate about how strong this bar actually is. No, these two are both about the same and they're nice. I mean, it's gonna be strong enough in the warmer, but it's not gonna be like blow you out of the house. I actually think this first bar is slightly stronger. So I will definitely let these sit for a while. One of them, I'll, I'll warm one and I'll let the other one sit and I'll order some more because this is so good, you guys. And it's got a similar plum note to black currant and plum, but without all the wood. Instead, it's got sweetness with it. Sweetness and it's, it's gonna be really good. Really, really nice homey scent. Very, very good. So if you're missing dancing sugar plums and or you're missing sweet plum pastry, this rum pum plum, I hope that it will perform well enough, but the scent is very pleasant. It's very nice. And I think that you'll be very happy with this. That is a good one. I'm excited about that. Okay, what else do I have in my little bag? We have vanilla barnwood. Now this one, I do have Pacific Sandalwood in the house and I will be able to tell you guys if I think that it's anything like it because I just melted that, an old aged bar of Pacific Sandalwood a little while ago. So this one, oh, this is pretty, you guys. And yes, it has the same floaty complex quality as Pacific Sandalwood, it does. Vanilla, a hint, everybody keeps talking about there's a hint of something sort of citrusy and I kind of get that, but I honestly think it's just the layers of vanilla and the barnwood and maybe there's some amber in here. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. So yes, if you're missing Pacific Sandalwood, this is different, but it's got that same mysterious floaty quality that makes Pacific Sandalwood so addictive. This is gorgeous. This is going to go in my bedroom immediately, I think. Oh, you guys lovely bar so what I think I can do is I will melt this and then I did just melt Pacific Sandalwood but I can grab another bar of it I've got like two half bars left and maybe kind of do a wax for in my bedroom day after day to see how similar they actually are melting close to each other this is beautiful so I know people have said performance on this is light if it's even medium light I will absolutely be clubbing this it's elegant it is gorgeous it is exactly what we need this time of the year and I think that one is a keeper. Okay, what do we have next? I have cranberry candy cane. Now this one I believe is supposed to have cranberry, peppermint, and pomegranate. So let's see what we get. Oh, this is good. Now this reminds me of something, I believe from Bath and Body Works, but I don't know what it is. Oh, this is good, you guys. And I'm not a peppermint lover. Oh, this is nice. 
you get the cranberry and the pomegranate to really tamp down too much peppermint. There's more peppermint on the bottom. This is really good. Oh, I like this. It's clean and it's holiday and it's excellent. And when I can figure out what it reminds me of, I'll let you know, but this is going to be nice. All three of those so far are fantastic. So let's see what we have left here. I've got Cherry's Jubilee and I guess we'll do Sleigh Ride last. So Cherry's Jubilee, I believe, oh, this is good. Okay, all five of these on cold, I really enjoy. There is not a bad bar here. And I mean, I love tree, so I have to believe Sleigh Ride will probably be my favorite. Oh, guys, is this good? Mm, it is delicious cherry, like really delicious cherry. It's sweet. It's intense. Actually, this is kind of what I wanted maraschino sugar cookie to smell like, oddly enough. It is, oh gosh, I don't remember what the notes are in this, but it's cherry with a whole bunch of other stuff that's making me very happy. I think there might be some raspberry in here. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this, and I didn't think I would. Oh man, okay, okay, this is a happy cherry smell. Like this is making me very jubilee-ish. <laughs> oh, that's good, you guys, wow. Okay, this is a fabulous five bar bundle. You have to get it in total. I mean, obviously I have to melt them, but I like all of those as a coherent group better than I liked the Harvest Collection, which is more hit and miss for me, although I have loved them all. Oh man, okay, so Sleigh Ride is last, and I know this is supposed to be evergreens and cranberry, so Sleigh Ride should just speak to my absolutely Christmas and greens love and heart, so let's see. Mmm, this is nice. I wonder if there's cedar in here. Oh, the bottom's so good. So this has got the cranberry. This has a nice layered quality of greenery. This is a little bit subdued for a tree scent. It's very nice, but it does not give me that surprise that I had from the Cherry's Jubilee and the Cranberry Candy Cane, actually. This is good. I definitely have to melt it. I get more very snowy spruce from this than I get sweet orange and evergreen. That is interesting. I think it's just how people view things. So I will definitely look up the notes and I'll try to do a dedicated warm review on this and go over all of the actual notes since he tells you are in here but I was dying to smell these and I'm sure you guys just would probably prefer one longer video than me whacking it up into several different ones. So I don't distinctly get cranberry, except there is a tartness that's more berry than just pine. But what this reminds me of the most is a subdued version of very snowy spruce. It just doesn't have the amber and that super sweet sap. So interesting. So do I like this? Yes. Cannot wait to warm it. That makes me very curious. This Cherry's Jubilee absolutely shocked me how good this is. I cannot wait to warm this. This is the most decadent, delectable, truly cherry smell. It's not cherry cough syrup. It's just really, really good cherry. I like that. All right, the Cranberry Candy Cane, and I'm sure it won't last long because cherry scents don't, but that is delicious. This Cranberry Candy Cane is so classy, and it's going to drive me absolutely nuts. What candle this reminds me of? It's stinking good though. The Rum Pum Plum is just homey and happy bubbly plum. It's just, I hope that the bar will develop over time, but it's really good. And if you really miss sweet plum pastry, please get this. And if you like the plum note that's in black currant and plum, pick this up. It'll just be a more bakery version. And last but not least, this amazing vanilla barn wood that does have some similarity in the complex floaty woody quality to Pacific Sandalwood. Oh, they're all good. I don't think I can tell you what my favorite is yet because on warm, I'm really interested to see what the performance is. I like all of them. The ones that shocked me were the Cherry's Jubilee and the Cranberry Candy Cane because I didn't think I was going to be excited about them. I'm excited about all of these. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents with my very late but wonderful harvest haul. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and everything is just good and I'm so glad this got here. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.